Hello beautiful people and welcome. Today I'm going to share with you how I go from this to this as I show you my clean girl makeup look perfect for travel. Choosing what makeup to bring for travel can be the most difficult things, especially if you're anything like me. I like to keep things simple and minimal as much as I would love to be able to bring my entire makeup collection that gives me anxiety. Kudos to you if you can do that, but for me that's just not an option. I like to fit everything in one bag. Herein lies the problem. I have multiple looks that I like to do when I travel. Not all the time am I just doing every day. I'm gonna go out probably this night or that night, so I want more of a glam look. I really tried to fine tune this because I want to make it as easy on myself and as simple as possible. I thought it would be so perfect not just to share with you this clean girl look but to also share with you what I bring with me when it comes to makeup when I travel because we're traveling right now. We're in a different scenery. I wish my bathroom looked this good at home. It needs to look this good at home. I feel like I'm in Vogue beauty secrets right now. Whew. Somebody come get me before I start feeling myself too much. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm so excited right now. I have these eye patches on, which is a staple for me whenever I travel because not only are we on the brink of dehydration, we're working on that. I don't sleep too well when I travel. Most likely if ever I'm going somewhere, I'm going on a plane. So that takes a lot out of me. Dealing with jet lag, all that stuff. You get some under eye baggage. This is the Skin Iceland. They can be very expensive, my friends, but I will say they are worth every single penny because they work so beautifully. I get these at Ulta. It's nice because they come in individual packs, which makes them expensive but also really easy to pack. I like to wear them like this because this focus is mainly on the under eyes and that's where I have most of my puffiness especially when I travel. So I've had these on pretty much all morning long. I'm ready to take them off and we can start with our makeup. Whew. Oh, I have a little bit of baggage left but it's not nearly as bad as it was this morning. I'm gonna do a little bit of skincare because this is what I like to do when I'm traveling, especially to help keep acne down because whenever I'm traveling, I am so much more prone to breaking out. I love to bring with me the Ordinary Niacinamide and Zinc. This stuff is amazing. I've talked about it before. Like, I'm just, I'm in love with it. It was out of stock for a while and I was like really sad for a long time because this stuff works so well on my skin. I'm using the Caudalie Firming Cashmere Cream as my moisturizer today. I can't remember if I did this already. My brain is everywhere. Pregnancy brain strikes again. Yes. Next, I'm gonna do the Kiehl's Creamy Eye Treatment with Avocado. This stuff is really, really good for travel. It's a little bit thick for me for every day, but when I'm traveling, my skin is so much more dry because of the changes. This is brilliant. It's so thick and so creamy. It just gives such a good layer and it really helps my eyes to like not look tired. Now we have our skincare base done. Let's get started on this makeup. I'm gonna start with the Say E Slip Tint. This is sunscreen for me. Because I like to keep things minimal while I travel, if I'm gonna bring a sunscreen, it's not gonna be my typical sunscreen that I have in my skincare. It's going to be sunscreen with some makeup in it because that just makes things so much easier and it serves as a dual function. This is going to give us a nice little tint. It smells good, it feels good, and I'm protected from the sun. If I'm doing like a tropical trip, I just do my skincare, pop this on, put on some shades, and we out, baby! Now I'm going to go ahead and work on my brows. Just going to use my Anastasia Brow Wiz for this. Guys, I think I'm losing eyebrow hair. You see these spaces? Is this a pregnancy thing? I really hope it's not because I thought that like the potential of you losing hair happens after pregnancy, like postpartum, but maybe I'm wrong. I've never had spots here. My eyebrows are sparse, but I'm losing hairs. This is concerning. Anyway, that's why we have makeup. I'm just gonna do a little bit of some fill-in, not too crazy because I do feel like with the clean girl makeup look or this makeup trend, it goes for a very fluffy, and light brow. That's what we're going for. We're not gonna do too much. I'm interchanging with the pencil and the spoolie to achieve that feathered and fluffy brow look. That looks really fluffy. It's not a lot of makeup. I'm gonna go ahead and go over with the Milk Kush Fiber Brow Gel. This is in the color Dutch. I got a little tip in a comment section. Someone made a tip to me just this morning and said, try to start with this brow gel, the tinted brow gel in the middle of my brows and then work out. So I'm gonna try that today. I've never tried that before, but they said it really helps them. So I'm all about trying new things. So if ever you have a tip or something that you would like to share with me, Please let me know. I like it. I like it. By the time I get to this part here, it's not too heavy. You know what I'm saying? Great tip. Thank you so much for sending me that tip. This is the one concealer that I brought with me for this trip. One, because I really love 
how it does both natural and glam looks. This is the Dior Backstage Concealer. This is a great formula. I have not been able to find a dupe very similar because I feel like they're not as quality. It's light, but really good coverage. It stays all day. It doesn't crease. I'm in the color 3W. These are all the brushes that I've taken with me while traveling. I'm gonna go ahead and use this Sigma F79 Concealer Blend Kabuki Brush, and I'm gonna blend this concealer out. It just doesn't even take much effort to do. It's just so nicely blendable. Next, I'm gonna go in with my Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter in 5.5 Tan. I love having this because this is like my glam foundation, which for a clean girl look, I feel like this is needed. It just adds something, it does something. I'm gonna go ahead and use it. Just put a little bit, just like that. I'm gonna take the Sephora 64 brush to blend this out. This on top of all of that is just so stunning. I feel like it embodies the actual meaning of like the clean girl trend, this clean girl makeup look that, that is so big right now. Without it, it doesn't look the same. Next is bronzer. If you've watched any of my other videos, this is my bronzer of choice lately. It's so natural, it's so light. So if you're tired of hearing me talk about it, I'm sorry. It's the Milk Makeup Stick Bronzer in the color Baked. I'm gonna take my Beauty Blender. Beauty blenders are amazing. This one's a little big. Usually I'll bring my smaller Beauty Blender, but I couldn't find it. So we went with the Fenty Beauty Blender. Look at how pretty that blends out. I forgot one more place to put my bronzer. This is essential, I feel like, for a clean girl look. You don't really want a powder eyeshadow when you do a clean girl look. You want it to be super light and almost like you woke up like that. When I put the bronzer just on the sides of my eyes right here on the eyelid, it gives such a light, natural contour, and it's beautiful. That's all I'm going to do for shadow. Next thing we're gonna work with is some blush. I have been really liking this lately. It's called Mango People. It's a multi-stick. So you can use this for multiple purposes, which is also really amazing for travel. This is in the color Jiper. It's super light. I like to build this and I like how compact it is. I'm gonna go ahead and take the contour blush brush from Sigma and I'm just gonna blend that out. Check out what it does for the lips. This is such a natural color and guys, I'm not a big fan of a lot of lipstick and stuff. So this is like my best friend. Super natural, it's almost like just my natural lip color. Now moving on to lashes, we're keeping it very simple. I do bring my eyelash curler because it's just doing it for me lately. When I use my eyelash curler, my mascara doesn't have to work so hard. And I love that. I'm using L'Oreal Telescopic, of course, because look at how tiny that is to take with you traveling. Perfect for every day, buildable enough for a glam look. It's my staple mascara. It looks good, it feels good, and it works. This is something that I do not usually do at home. I'm actually gonna use a powder, which I never use powder usually because I don't need to, but I just need a little bit of extra help, especially when I travel. I'm using the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Powder Foundation in the color 300. This is also really nice for travel. I like to take it with me on the airplane because it has such a nice mirror and it has two mirrors and then also a little sponge so that you can like reapply makeup, especially if you are traveling during the day at the airport and you're going somewhere right after you get off the plane. I'm gonna take the Sigma Concealer Blend Kabuki Brush and I'm gonna just apply this powder underneath my eyes because look at the difference when I do this. I just want you to see the difference of how it helps my eyes. The people outside doing construction don't want me to be great today and film the rest of my video apparently. So we're gonna go ahead and apply that on the other eye to kind of give it the same effect. It just blurs it out so nicely. Do you see that? Blurred. That's exactly why I always bring a powder whenever I travel. I'm gonna go ahead and put that right on top over here in the nose area and on the forehead. And there you have it. One of the last things that I like to do, especially for a clean girl look, is add some kind of highlight. I have a highlight that I like to use, but it's way too big to pack. I'm gonna go ahead and just use my eyeshadow palette that I bring. I bring this specific eyeshadow palette for this purpose. I'm gonna use this color right here, and I'm just gonna pack it onto my fingertips, right? And I'm gonna put this over my brow, just very lightly. So we're getting highlighter, and I also am able to pack my eyeshadow. Dual purposes. We love that. I just dab a little bit over on the cheek area. Very light, but very pretty. You guys know that I'm not a massive lip gloss girl. However, a clean girl makeup look, I feel like it's essential to have some kind of glossy, 
thing added to your lips. I'm just gonna add this little lip balm that kind of acts as a gloss for me. It's the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm in the color Vanilla Beige, and it's a very uh, neutral color. And I'm just gonna add just a little bit of that to give me a little bit of gloss. I always will bring a setting spray because you need it, you need a setting spray. This is the Makeup Forever Mist and Fix 24 Hour Spray. I've been loving it. That is your clean girl makeup look. What do you think? We're clean, girl. I love this look. I love to do it at home too. I really feel like this is such a staple when I travel. Before I end this video, I'm gonna show you guys the rest of the makeup that I bring with me that I didn't get to mention for this makeup look because I didn't use it all. Just so you have an idea of what you might want to bring with you when you travel. I try to always get a nice, versatile eyeshadow palette. Something that I like to use for daytime and nighttime. These colors are amazing for both daytime and nighttime. Can't remember how to pronounce it. Sayete London is their chocolate nine piece eyeshadow palette. As you can see, it's also very compact, it's small, so it makes it easy for travel as well. The brushes that I didn't show you guys that I also bring with me are some key eyeshadow brushes. This is the 224 blending brush from MAC. Then we have this Sigma blending brush, which is really good for more defined looks. And then I also bring my MAC 165S brush, which is a nice tiny brush that is really good for helping blend underneath the eye like this for my makeup looks. One more thing that I like to bring makeup wise whenever I'm traveling is a colored lipstick, especially for glam looks. This one in particular is my new favorite. It's the Fenty Beauty Velvet Liquid Lipstick in the color the MVP one. Such a pretty red color. This reminds me a lot of the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick that I'm obsessed with. I love their lipsticks and also the Tarte Lip Paint. This reminds me of that. It's a matte look. It lasts for a really long time and it's really beautiful. It all fits just in this tiny little cute bag and it's super easy to pack. I don't have to worry about lugging around too much luggage. Like this fits in a carry-on very easily. So that's all folks. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe because it really helps my channel out. Thanks again so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye.